Coach Devin here. You're on the way home and you decide, I want a McDonald's. I, I'm dying for some Mickey D's and I'm going to have the Big Mac meal. How much will that set you off? And, and will it set you off back at all? That's what we're talking about. Before we get going, click that thumbs up down below and please subscribe. Also, there I've got some great free PDFs that are down in the description down below. Everything from my guide to amazing abs to an at-home workout. It's my gift to you. It's free. Go download it when you get a chance. Okay, so you want McDonald's on the way home. Some people love McDonald's. They feel like it's comfort food. You know, they, they get into it. Uh, I personally have never been a big McDonald's guy. Uh, I didn't grow up on McDonald's. There was no McDonald's nearby to where I live. So McDonald's to me is kind of like, eh, it doesn't taste that great. But a lot of people like it. I get it. A lot of people are into McDonald's. So you decide, I will go have that Big Mac on the way home. And what I usually hear as a person's trainer on the back end is they say, well, you know, Devin, it's not that bad. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I had 1,300 cat. You know, I, I had that that Big Mac meal. It's not a big deal. Don't don't stress about it. I was getting ahead of myself there. Uh, they think I will burn that off tomorrow. So let's delve into the real the real science behind that. So to give like just for some quick background information, if you want to maintain your body weight, we're going to use me as an example. I'm 230 pounds. So to figure out how many calories I need a day to maintain my body weight, we multiply my body weight by 10. So that's 2,300 calories. That's what I need every day just to be alive, to walk around, to do, you know, what I do. Doesn't count exercise or anything else, but we're, we're just talking about, you know, maintaining body weight right now. So I need 2,300 calories in a day to be me, just to walk around and be me. So how many calories is in that Big Mac meal? Now, if you don't supersize it, and there's lots of, you know, let's be honest, there's ways to do that too, and it can be way bigger, but we're just talking normal, everyday Big Mac meal, how many calories? 1,330 calories. Now, that's a lot. That's a lot of calories, but a lot of people, I think, would say to that, well, it's, again, not the end of the world. I can burn that off. Yes, you can. 100% you can burn off that Big Mac meal. But to give you an idea, that's going to take you quite a while. If you're lifting weights, it's going to take you over six hours of weightlifting to burn that off. And if you're running, it will take over two hours and 30 minutes of running to burn off that Big Mac meal. Two hours and 30 minutes. You can't go for a 20-minute jog. You got to run for two hours and 30 minutes just to break even. That's a lot. Now, on top of that, what's interesting, if we're, if we're using me as an example, let's get down to brass tacks here. I, you know, I need 2,300 calories, as we just established, to maintain my body weight. Well, that Big Mac meal is over half of my caloric intake for the entire day. Like, that, that's what amazes me here. That's more than half of all the food I can have in one meal. Well, that's a hell of a lot of food. Let's be honest, that's a heck of a lot in one meal. Lots of calories, right? Am I going to be hungry for breakfast? Yeah. For lunch? Yeah, I've eaten both breakfast and lunch. Now I'm in, now I'm in a problem because now I'm going to be above the caloric numbers that I need. I'll be at more like 25, 28, 30. If I'm at 3,000 calories, now I'm up 700 calories or 500 calories. Whatever I'm up, I'm up. So let's just say I'm up a couple hundred calories. You go, ah, it's not the end of the world. You do that a couple times a month. And you will gain weight. This is how weight gain happens, guys. If you add in a little bit of food or something huge like a like a McDonald's meal, you add that into your number. It's not what it does to you today. It's what it does to you progressively. It will continue to go up. You will gain weight because of it. And you cannot burn off that Big Mac meal. You just, you know, you won't do it. You might say you're going to do it, but I'm going to tell you right now, I am not going to go out and run for two hours and 30 minutes after having a Big Mac meal. No one is doing that. You might, you know, claim that you're doing it. You're not doing it. I can guarantee that you're not doing it. So since you're not doing that and you know you're not doing that, you are cruising for weight gain. And this is where bad decisions like that, little decisions and what you think is not a big deal, it's just a Big Mac meal. You have to delve down and look into the calories you're taking in and the expenditure of energy and work that it will take to burn it off, and is that going to even be feasible? And I'll tell you right now, with a Big Mac meal, it's not feasible. That's why people gain weight. That's why people are constantly, you know, having problems with weight gain and obesity is such a problem, is because we have fast food restaurants and, and, and places like this, 
and the numbers are so, so high for them. So next time you want to go get that Big Mac meal and the Coke and the fries and you're thinking that'll be awesome, remember how much work you have to do. Two hours and 30 minutes or over six hours of weightlifting if you want to get that burnt off on the back end. Think about it next time you're doing things. I'm Coach Devin. Have yourself an amazing day. Don't fight the awesome.